been the most surprised by is the fact that something so simple can be so powerful and yet in such limited access for people. When you're in any city and you see homeless people, you have a judgment about them. You've cast them sort of as others, not like you. And the truth is, when they were little, they didn't dream of growing up to be homeless. They dreamed of being astronauts or doctors or teachers. Their circumstances in life just brought them to where they are. Lava May was a way that I felt like, all right, I'm not ending homelessness, but I'm bringing a slice of the pie that doesn't exist. And that's all about what Lava May is here to do, is to fill that gap. The official count of homelessness in San Francisco is around 7,350 individuals. There are homeless service providers who put that number closer to 10 or 15,000, which if you're looking at the streets, seems reasonable. There are, at least from the hygiene perspective, only 16 shower stalls that these people can access, and not many more toilets either. So there is a huge paucity where they can't access the ability to be clean in order to apply for jobs or find housing to maintain health and well-being. I had a very distinct experience um, passing a young woman who was sitting on the sidewalk and she was filthy. And she just kept saying over and over again that she would never be clean. And that really struck a note within me. Around the same time, I was really obsessed with the mobile food movement. And I just thought, if you can put gourmet food on wheels and take it anywhere, why not showers and toilets? Shortly thereafter, I saw an article about grants to replace the old diesel buses. And I just thought, I want those buses. I had the good fortune to be friends with a gentleman named Brett Turpeluk, who was the lead architect on Renzo Piano. And when I mentioned this idea to him, he was just like, yes, we can do this. I know we can figure this out. The very first day that we launched our service, when the first guy went up and he came out, he just had this huge smile on his face. And I thought, it works. It works and it's going to be good. And it was the culmination of over a year of work that so many people helped make possible. That first opportunity to get in the shower, I totally do believe that it's transformative. And that's what we see when people come to us. I call it our 15 minute impact. It makes them feel not just like themselves again, but better about themselves and, and more capable moving forward. Like they are not in it alone, but they have the support of our team. We treat them like humans, they're not numbers. And so many places in this city, they're just numbers. But to us, we, we remember their names. We're in the basic business of hospitality more than anything else. And it's about making them feel like they are worthy of all of this and more. I feel so much better. I feel like, wow, I feel like a new person. I really do. That was cool. Thank you. It's like one person goes in and a totally different person comes out just because they were able to not only physically wash away the grime, but to sort of wash away just for a moment their troubles and their cares and feel fresh and like there are possibilities again. It was perfect. Awesome. It's amazing. Hot. I sleep on the street, so I'm constantly cold. It was a nice, hot, clean shower. I feel feel very good. Phase two is scaling locally, so hopefully we'll have four buses running, providing 50,000 showers a year. I'm really working hard to figure out an earned income stream because I want to be as independent of philanthropy as possible, and I just feel like we're only at the first step of what Lava May could be part of to help really turn the situation around in this community.